I may have said I won't do a video again about this guy, but this video is so bad that it's good. Oh great, it's Elmer fucking Fudd again. Just ignore him, you know, just, I'm just gonna walk out of it because, you know, just trying to listen to this guy is just, just gonna give me brain damage, you know? I'm out of here. Anyway, let's start. Joe, start the quip. Wait, did you just say start the crap? Anyway, let's start. Joe, start the quip. You are a piece of illiteral crap, you- Ugh! Alright, alright. You know what, fine, fine. I'll make a video response because holy crap, you need to work on your freaking English! I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk- Oh great, the so-called comic book geek. We don't see anything wrong with this video so far instead of the pop music. Of course you don't. Everything looks good. We're dealing with one of those YouTubers. Oh boy, fuck is you. That's right, motherfucker, you're dealing with me now, bitch! Anyway, how are things are doing, A for this game on? Hello, YouTube. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about something that I am very passionate about, and that is feminism. Now, I am, and always have been in my memory, a feminist, but I'm well aware that not everybody knows what a feminist is. Well, I know what a feminist is. A feminist is a lesbian who have daddy issues and want to put old men in death camps. Ah, oh, what the fuck is that? It's true because I read it on the redpill.com. So I thought I'd make a video explaining what a feminist is and why you and everybody you know should be one. Well, if you're an alcoholist, I suggest you grab a few beers and, you know, get drunk because this one's got- Um, Atheist Gamer, I think there's something wrong with the editing of this video. Why are you gonna say? Well, I guess you have to figure it out. Cheap video editing. Dun dun dun! A feminist is- Okay, just for the sake of my sanity and for everybody else's sake, I'm gonna skip a few parts. The ones that are very obvious, of course. The points that I've already addressed. Huh? Okay, so... Um, A for this game, we don't think you edit this video very well. Well, that's because it is poorly done. The video editing was poorly done because I was using a cheap video editor. A very, very cheap video editor. As in, free. And trust me, it was at poor quality. Ugh, I didn't have my laptop with me, okay? So please don't blame me for this. This must be those evil film Nazis that must be cutting him off and have sentence to keep the troops suppressed. Or just shitty video editing. You know, that happens. Oh, hello there, hey, Mekton, well, pet truth, one for six minute two. How are you doing today? Fuck you, you stupid man, Gino. Is this some sort of act that you're putting on, Elmer Fudd? I mean, um, what the fuck is going on? And when I did, I noticed something. All of her favorite characters were there. There was Iron Man, there was... Captain America, there was Spider-Man, there was just one thing missing. A single female character. Oh, the horror that you can't find a single female action figure of the uh, Lego blocks. Um, you couldn't find Wonder Woman, you couldn't find um, X-23, Phoenix, um, Hawk Girl. You know, this is not just the Avengers I'm talking about. I'm talking about the entire uh, superhero universe. Okay? I should probably point this out that Lego isn't exactly, you know, like uh, dolls and so-called action figures, you know. Um, you can actually create your own 
toys. I mean, not toys, but like create your own stuff. I mean, there's actually people who managed to create um, anime Legos like um, Naruto, Bleach, Pokemon, and etc. You know, you're not just limited. So um, you can literally create Wonder Woman, Hawk Girl, X-23, Phoenix, um, Storm, Catwoman, etc. You can literally do that. So relying on Lego to make a Wonder Woman toy, you know, a Wonder Woman Lego toy, it's just ridiculous. You have the power to create stuff. You know, it's Lego, not a fucking action figure. And why is it so goddamn necessary to even have a female action figure of, let's say, Wonder Woman? I mean, so what? Yeah, damn girls for one to have an action figure that they could identify with. Oh, where's the clip? Where's the clip? Where's the clip? Oh man, I'm looking for it right now. Oh, where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Oh, there it is. Let me just bring it over here. <clears throat> Holy fuck is this wrong? Fuck them. So this made me think. Who is my favorite female superhero from a movie? And I thought, Black Widow from the Avengers. But then it hit me. She's the only female superhero from a movie that I know. And then you pretty much don't know the superhero franchise at all. I mean, I'm not necessarily the biggest comic book fan. But I definitely do know more about the Avengers than you do. And, and the Justice League as well. Seriously, I got this movie, Catwoman, Catwoman, and that movie sucks ass, but at least it counts. Daddy, is a superhero movie with a girl as the title? Well then, Mary, all about Catwoman. But Dad, that movie sucks, and there ain't superhero Golo who don't dress like a hooker, and all the type of hookers that you take home when Mom isn't around. Okay, Andrew, don't. You do not know what you're talking about, okay? Just shut up. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you a few good examples, okay? Mystery Men. You have no idea what this movie is, don't you? <laughs> no. no. But, you know, one of the characters is female. And, um... Here's the thing. She's actually one of the strongest characters that I ever seen. You wanna know what her power is? She has a bowling ball. Yeah, what's a bowling ball gonna do? It can fly. It can fly, chase you around, break your legs, break your spine. It does whatever. Okay? The other superheroes, um... One of them has the power to use a shovel. That, that's about it. Uh, another one can fart out of his ass, use, use it as like some sort of cannon. Another one uses forks and spoons in order to hurt people. Um, th th there's a Hulk wannabe. Um, a guy who can turn invisible when nobody is looking. Yeah, that sort of things. You know, I, I believe her powers is the most amazing power that i ever seen. I want a bowling ball just like that, okay? Um, here's another one. Fantastic Four. Susan Storm, she definitely fucking counts. And, 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 and don't come up with this bullshit that they're part of a all boys team. Just go, no, no, just shut up, right? And let's talk about Elektra. Hmm? I mean, I don't have the movie, but I definitely have Daredevil, and she definitely fucking counts. And you want to know what else? You know, she's not a Marvel character, she's not a DC character, but she's based on a comic book, and she's definitely. You know, fit to be in a superhero movie, and that is... TANK GIRL! But of course, you care more about what the person WEARS than her personality. Ah, sweet... Hmm, you know what? Um, sorry honey, I got the cat women have to do. Oh fuck! Why do the boys get all the good superhero movies? You really don't know your superhero movies, don't you? So, clearly you don't know shit about 
superheroes. There are in the Avengers. There are plenty of female superheroes, such as uh, again She, uh, she Hulk. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Phoenix, uh, Susan Storm, aka Invisible Woman. Um, I believe Hummingbird. I mean, I, I haven't. Um, tag. She was talking about superhero movies, not superhero comics. And guess what? There are participants in movies such as X Men, Guardians of the Galaxy, and of course, the Fantastic Four. But of course, you're too stupid to realize that. I do you know the difference between the two. Play this game in a long ass time. But I know there are plenty of female superheroes. And there's also gay, lesbians, and bisexual su- Following that vein. Okay, now, how many superhero movies that star gay or bisexual or characters? Oh, don't pretend you actually care about them now. But there was a movie called Zorro the Gay Blade, and yes, technically that counts as a superhero movie, as it came from Grossick and Dunlop Etel. And, um, it, it features his t Zoro's twin brother, who is apparently gay. So, yeah, that sort of counts. Oh, none? The Avengers, the movie she's in, isn't even about her. She's just one of the only female characters in it. Perhaps maybe in the movies, but in comic books? Four more people do do the movies than we comic book, so what? What the fuck do you mean, so what? So, this just blew my mind. How could so many millions of billions of dollars be made from such successful movie franchises and yet still neglect 50% of the population? How in the world are they neglecting 50% of the population? The population consists of men and women, right? Uh, well, guess what? There are women out there who like the Avengers, and they don't even fucking care on how many women are in the Avengers. They just enjoy it. People like yourself... People like you, um, what exactly are you, are you about to say, Tag? Because you've been caught off in mid-sentence a lot in this video. By now, you should figure it out. Okay, look, look, look what I can do with my video editor right now. <laughs> Now try to do that with Windows Movie Maker. I fucking dare you. Anyway, so what if they are, if women want more women to be in, in the Avengers? There are plenty of women in the fucking Avengers. It's people like yourself that just can't get enough. Why should you care, I mean? What are your good things since scholars have more role models to look up to? Why do I have this feeling that you act like there aren't any superheroes that women look up to? I mean, seriously, does it have to be a fucking female? Whatever happened to setting a good example? I mean, whatever happened to that? Yeah, because the thing we're lacking in superhero media are pasty model white guys in brightly colored spandex outfits. So. I did a little bit of research and this is when I came up with something really cool. It's called the Be Bechdel test. Now, the Bechdel test was inv invented by Alison Bechdel in the 80s and was invented to determine the level of female representation in a film. And it fucking fails. How do I know? Because one of the movies that I just show is one of them, Catwoman! And we all know how terrible that movie is. Seriously, the Bechdel test is completely and utterly stupid. It doesn't make... It, it only shows that there are two women talking to each other that's not about men. So fucking what? I mean, that's not like some sort of big fucking feat. Okay? A movie isn't great if two women just not talk to each other, not, you know, talk to each other that isn't related to a man. A great movie would consist of, you know, a good storyline, good characters, all those sort of things. 
But the Bechdel test is stupid. And places like Sweden is doing it because... Places like Sweden are doing it because... Tag, you really don't know the point of the Bechdel test. Oh, please, wise one. Please explain. Oh, I'm going to do that. Someone else explain. Oh, thank God that you're not the one explaining it because otherwise I might actually interpret it as this. Again, to be clear, this test does not gauge the quality of a film. It doesn't determine whether a film is feminist or not, and it doesn't even determine whether a film is woman centered. Then what the fuck is the point? Some pretty awful movies, including ones that have stereotypical and or sexist representations of women, might pass the test with flying colors, while really well-made films that I would highly recommend might not. The Bechdel test is best when used as a tool to evaluate Hollywood as an institution. It can be applied to pretty much any grouping of mainstream movies, such as the Golden Globe nominees, or the top grossing films of any given year. Or Nia Sarkeesian's own video game! We all know what we're talking about! All with similar results. The test helps us identify the lack of relevant and meaningful female roles as a larger pattern in the film industry as a whole. Or have women that have personality. You know, not like Bella Swan from fucking Twilight. The problem isn't restricted to any individual movie, director, or genre. All of my favorite movies pass, when in fact this probably isn't the case. Embarrassing numbers of films not only fail the Bechdel test, but fail it miserably. And why does a movie need to pass the Bechdel test in order to be a good movie? That isn't the point tag. Yeah, you know what? Screw the woman's personality. What's more important is that these two women must engage each other and not talk about cock. It is so goddamn important. The point is female representation in movies as a whole. Not whether or not a movie is good or not, but movies as a whole. So you're saying that you don't care about a woman's personality. Great to know. Let's just say that in 90% of movies, only thing that men talk about are women's boobs. That will suck, will it? And we still have movies that still have strong independent characters who are female and do not pass the Bechdel test. Because it is far more valuable to have a personality than to have two women talk to each other for a goddamn minute that doesn't involve dicks! What does it say about the modern psyche that all of women's thoughts are perceived to be of men? Are you seriously that stupid? Like, really? Are you really that- when Maybe you should ask that question to yourself, Tag. Coming from Mr. Start the Crap. Joe, start the quip. This clip, you unbelievable moron, you blood-sucking, anal-raping, dog-shitting, fat, annoying, stupid, lazy, motherfucking goat fucker! <sighs> it's embarrassing. No wonder only 2% of the UK's engineers are female. And so what? Since when do people care on what's between your freaking legs? Seriously, if a woman wants to become an engineer, fine. But just because there's only 2% of engineers in uh, that, that are female in the UK, doesn't mean... Doesn't mean what exactly. Anyway, here's this quote from Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, uh, maybe if there are genetic differences between men and women that explain why more men are in science. Anyone want to touch that? I, I, I just... I, I've never been female. Uh, <laughs> but I, I have been black my whole life. And so let me perhaps offer some insight uh, from that perspective, because there are many similar uh, social issues related to access to equal opportunity. Uh, that we find in the black community as well as the community of women in a male-dominated, white male-dominated society. Um, and I'll be brief because I want to try to get more questions. When I look at throughout my life, I've known that I wanted to do astrophysics since I was nine years old, a first visit to the Hayden Planetarium. I was a little younger than Victor at the time, I was, although he did it before I did. And so... Um, 
So I got to see how the world around me reacted to my expression of these ambitions. And all I can say is the fact that I wanted to be a scientist and astrophysicist was hands down the path of most resistance through the forces of nature and forces of, of society. Anytime I expressed this interest, teachers would say, don't you want to be an athlete? Or don't you want to? I want to become something that was outside of the paradigms of expectation of, that, of the people in power. And so, so fortunately, my depth of interest with the universe was so deep and so fuel enriched that every one of these curveballs that I was thrown in, fences built in front of me and hills that I had to climb, I just weeped for more fuel and I kept going. Now here I am. One, I think, one of the most visible scientists in the land, and I want to look behind me and say, well, where are the others who might have been this? And they're not there. And I wonder how, who, what is the blood on the tracks that I happen to survive that others did not, simply because of the forces of society that prevented at every turn. Okay, listen, first of all, I'm going to say this right now. You don't have to meet society's expectations, okay? If society has expectations of what you should be, and you, you know what, just don't do it, okay? If, if that's what you don't want, then that's fine, okay? It's not, I mean, people have done the impossible before. I mean, if Barack Obama can become president, then I don't know who else can. But it wouldn't be true. In fact, you only have to look at statistics on domestic abuse to see that sexism is impossible to ignore. The so-called statistics that you like to come up with is absolute bullshit, as has been debunked by the likes of Christina Hoff Summers, who's by the Um, I ran away from the study from the Department of Justice, which I will link down below. Among domestic violent victimization, most were committed against free males, 76% compared to males, 24 Yada yada yada, Skeptor. And here we are to this argument. Don't tell me to defend myself. Tell that person not to rape me. You do realize that it's pretty much drilled in our fucking heads that rape is bad. But still, people are going to perform rape. You sound like you really don't understand why we need to keep people consent you really don't know what consent is considering that your ideology of consent is this hey can i kiss you hey can i touch your boob hey can i touch your ass hey can i feel you here can i feel you there <laughs> it's just about every moment i have to ask a fucking question you dumbass so i'm trying to weave from this page from the pshe association which i will link down below Teaching long people about consent. Descript, descript. Once again, Skeptor! We only have one weapon against sexism. One weapon to brandish to say, hey, I'm worth just as much as any man. Feminism. The belief that men and women should be equal. The belief that Women shouldn't have to wear a certain type of clothes to fit in. That men shouldn't have to downplay how emotional they are because that's gay. The belief that spreading your legs in the subway station is sexism because you're taking up space. The belief that every man down the street is a potential rapist. The belief that women are being paid less due to nothing more but gender, despite the fact there is loads and loads of evidence to disprove that point. The belief that men shouldn't call women bossy because that somehow give them a lack of confidence. The belief that somehow video games can make you more violent. You've been drinking this anti-feminist Kool-Aid, are you? English motherfucker, do you speak it? Because I can't understand a single word what you just said. You should be feminist. All of this makes me so angry and scared. Yeah, it makes you angry and scared that not enough people are following the hive mind. 
one of us, one of us. Um, I think it should make you angry too. I am angry, as a matter of fact. I'm angry that people like yourself complain too much about the lack of we I mean, how dare these women want more representation in the entertainment media like superhero movies? Yeah, and uh, there's a lack of men in women-dominated jobs like nursing and uh, uh, teaching, yeah. Now, where's the feminist rally for that? Hmm. I don't see anywhere. Where could it be? Superhero movies should only be for straight, white, cisgender men. Now you're just putting words in my mouth. Did I not just say that there are plenty of women who enjoy the Avengers? Jesus Christ, you're so goddamn stupid. If you don't agree with that, then fuck you. You fucking social justice, cultural Marxist royal. You have such poor insult skills. Thank you for listening to my rant. My name is Maria Cullen. Never forget that you are the most awesome person in the room. Well, thank you for giving me that compliment, but I still think you're worse than scum. Exactly how is he worse than scum? Cause she doesn't follow the third wave feminist ideology. Ho ho ho, not at all. Does he ever say anything as bad as this? As for Amanda Berry, the woman that was forced to have a child with Ariel Castro, she's probably made tons of money from press coverage and possible book deals, and Ariel's daughter will probably be well off for the rest of her life. Oh hi, Sandman! In terms of a reproductive strategy, it sort of worked out for Ariel, because he now has a child that can pay her own way through college. Probably money enough to buy a house and a sizable trust fund as well. All because he kidnapped her mother and forced her to have a kid with him. Hey, maybe you should make responses to these kind of videos. Start tyrannizing, screaming, and saying how bad feminism is for the one billion time. Well, seeing that we see plenty of stupid things that is done by feminists over the years, um, hate to say it, but it's kind of impossible not to be biased towards feminism. I mean, for fuck's sakes, we have people trying to ban the word bossy. Bossy! Even my sister thinks this is stupid, and she's only 14 years old. I should probably mention that I did not edit this last part of the clip. Uh, believe it or not, she actually used her intro as her outro. I mean... That's a bit redundant. Imagine if I did that. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk. It just doesn't make any sense. And plus, it's a bit redundant. I have voices. Oh, no, you don't. Well, I think that's all for now. So, I guess this will be my last video on Andrew Norton. Right? Oh, you got to be shitting me. I have voices. God damn it all! <sighs> See, Elmer Fudd, this is how you perform comedy. And by the way, asshole, it's clip, not crap. Play the clip.